Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing type number 1 detection and correction of errors problem number 2. Welcome back friends, let us discuss problem number 2 similar to problem number 1. Here the problem is 3,7 encoding function that means its b cube tends to b raised to 7. On left hand side all the codes will be of the length 3 so it is starting from triple 0 and it's going up to a triple 1 and on right hand side every code is of length 7 see here every code is of a length 7 so the question is same how many errors it can detect and how many errors it can correct so the question is same e can detect and correct for that purpose we know the procedure what is the procedure let us assume these codes as x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 and x7 and after that there is a very lengthy procedure. Extremely sorry for this but I don't have any option you have to do it. So you have to show in the exam. So what is the procedure? You need to take x0, xor with all the remaining terms. That means x0, x1, x0, x2, x0, x3, x0, x4, x0, x5, 6 and 7 then x0 will go on then x1 xor with the remaining term that is x1 x2 x1 x3 x1 x4 x1 x5 x1 x6 x1 x7 x2 gone x2 x3 x2 gone x3 gone and so on and finally it will be x6 and x7 you need to take these many xor operations so i have taken few and i have left few uh, as a homework, I am sure you can easily manage that. Yes, it is a lengthy thing but yes, it is very simple thing. So first of all, uh, let me uh, show you few XOR operations just for the sake of uh, uh, understanding. X0 XOR with X1 or X0 XOR with X2, X0 XOR with X3. See, see here, X0 is all 0. So if you take XOR with any term, let us say X1, X2, X3, take it with any term, the result will be the other term. For example, x0, xor, x1 will be the, will be this result. x0, xor, x2 will be this result. x0, xor, x3 will be the same result. Let's move on. x1, xor, x2. See here. If you find xor of these two terms, 0, 0 is 0. This is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 0. So this is the result. x1, x3. Likewise, you need to find it out all the exhaust no other option and after that you need to check what is the minimum distance so if you find or if you check what is the minimum distance the minimum distance that you're going to get is 2 so that we got it here remaining all the distance will be 2 or greater than 2 so minimum distance is 2 what is the next thing detection and correction of the errors so same story detection of errors so for detecting the error this minimum distance is what it should be equal to k plus 1 so that is k plus 1 equal to 2 therefore k is equal to 1 therefore it can detect how many errors same story because in the last problem also one or less errors in the last problem also we got minimum distance as 2 so the remaining story is same and the next is correction of errors and for correction of errors we know this minimum distance is equal to what 2k plus 1 so this is 2k plus 1 is equal to the minimum distance so k will be equal to half so how many errors it can correct zero errors because it can correct half errors half errors means what nothing so it can correct zero errors or basically you you can say it can't correct errors so that is it we're done with the problem hope you understood a tedious job but you have to do it, do it. thank you for watching this video take care